हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रिंस ऑटोमेशन डेस्टिनेशन दिस साइड प्रिंस वेलकम वंस अगेन टू आर किट सीरीज सो इन आर लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ किट सीरीज वी कवर्ड हाउ टू ऐड योर फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट इनटू किट इन केस यू आर नॉट फैमिलियर विद हाउ टू एड योर प्रोजेक्ट इन टू आप वुड रिक्वेस्ट टू प्लीज चेक आउट माई प्रीवियस वीडियो विच आई बी शेयरिंग इन द आई आईकन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ गिट that is gitlab architecture where we'll try to understand how gitlab works at high level now uh, before we try to understand the gitlab architecture let us try to understand ci with jenkins right so when we for example write the automation scripts we can execute our scripts from our local machine as well this way our machine is occupied and in those cases what we need to do is we need to rely on some ci tool to execute the test cases on some remote machines so that we can execute the test cases overnight and we can execute them based on the schedule right so what do we do is we push our changes to the git hub or bitbucket remote repository i mean or we can say source code management tools now once we have pushed these changes to the git hub so the next step is we would need one ci tool so this ci tool is used to execute our test cases on different machines connected to that particular ci server so jenkins is a ci server against it like multiple nodes or multiple machines are connected which could be vm machine which could be ec2 instances azure instances right or um, on premise uh, machines we can say right so in jenkins what we do is uh, we Uh, set up the connection between the github and jenkins in the source code management section configuration section i mean and then during configuration of job or pipeline what do we do is we point to the uh, respective repository from which we want to execute the test cases and when we run the job either manually or based on the schedule so jenkins execute the test cases against the machines connected to the jenkins server based on the availability or machine availability of machines right so this is how it used to works right now in case of gitlab as we have already covered that gitlab is a combination of source code management tool as well as ci tool or we can say it is the entire devops uh, platform so what what happens is we don't need to rely on the um, third party ci tool so what happens is as soon as we are committing our changes to the gitlab so gitlab will look for Uh, one dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yaml file which is a pipeline file we'll be discussing later so it look for it and it triggers the pipeline from that particular file and in case of gitlab we have runners connected as like machines or nodes were connected in jenkins here runners are connected so these runners could be um, i mean uh, again ec2 instances as your machines right or could be on premise servers and they uh, they are like multiple type of runners which we'll be discussing in next lecture so what happens is as soon as there is a push in this commit a uh, push or commit in this particular gitlab it look for the available runners right in case we want we don't want to execute against a specific runner it will look for the available runner and will execute your test cases and later we can Uh, get the artifacts meaning we can get the reports uh, as a output from these runners so this is how the gitlab ci works right so this is how the gitlab architecture works at high level right now we are comfortable with the uh, gitlab architecture let us try to get familiar with gitlab ui so there are like many components in gitlab interface but we'll be focusing on a uh, few of them which are important from test automation perspective first one is code second is build third one is deploy and last one is settings right so without further delay let me go to the uh, section so let me go to the home page so when we go to the home page so this is the project so i'm coming here right and now what happens is if i for example start from home right so on home first of all you will see projects you can see groups so under groups also we can add projects right so when we create projects they are added under certain groups as well right now when i go inside any project so what i will see i will see many areas such as uh plan section this is uh, similar to like any project management tool like jira right so we can utilize gitlab as a project management as to uh, as well right so this is code section where we deal with the um, source code management part meaning where we will see repository different branches commits tags right and merge request 
which is used for the collaboration purpose this is build section which is used to track the pipelines so whatever the pipelines getting run we can track those respective jobs as, as part of pipelines how to run the jobs using uh, pipelines meaning through schedule then this is a deploy section which is used to store the images as like docker hub right so we'll be discussing uh, later part uh, when we'll be using our image from here if required right otherwise we'll be using the image from the docker hub right then this is settings part where we can configure many settings general and this is ci cd part so when we go inside the ci cd part you will see runner section right then you will see variable section which are utilized for executing your pipelines or jobs with parameters or we can say that we can run our jobs or pipeline as a parameterized job or pipeline so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current video guys so thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again